What's up, everybody? I'm Rick Rich Dick, and you're watching Dick Comics, my show where I review the latest comics to hit the shelves. This week, we're taking a look at Bell, Beast Hunter number one by Xenoscope. Fantastic artwork, just look at this titular character introduction. A fun story that twists mythology and dialogue so bad that Bell, Beast Hunter number one, is about to get dead. The story was developed by Joe Brucia, Ralph Tedesco, and Dave Franchine, and it's spectacular. Bell hunts beasts, as the title suggests, such as minotaurs and centaurs, incapacitates them, and ships them back home through these portals. She's got a sidekick in her ear like most modern day superheroes. The only difference is their banter is terrible. Dang. Whoever made the wrong decision in letting Franchine write the dialogue made the right decision in letting Bong Dazzo do the artwork and Jan Manuel Rodriguez do the colors. They put real effort into this and it shows. Just look at this menacing centaur. The book starts with Belle, a shadow at first, dragging a recently defeated Minotaur through the Museum of American History, which creates a monstrous amount of intrigue. Now, I know what you're thinking, that was an awful pun, but there was a reason. This book is gimmicky as hell. It's campy for the right reasons. So if you can groan past the headache-inducing dialogue and the silliest Easter eggs, or if you genuinely like campy, you'll like this book. You might be wondering how this all started, and you're in luck because they spend half the book showing flashbacks and backstory. It drones on too long. There were much more satisfying page-saving ways to deliver the same information. But essentially, it's hereditary. Her mother was a hunter, now she's a hunter. And for as long as she can remember, Alfred Pennyworth, I mean, Candlestick has been the butler, tutor, and probably mechanic and physician for the family. Here you can see him teaching her how to fight, and here you can see everyone, including Disney princesses, now has a bat cave. Who doesn't like a centaur slaying female Batman? Even if the dialogue was lame, the rest of the book makes up for it, putting Belle Beast Hunter number one at an eight on the Richter scale. What do you think of all these female butt kickers moving into Batman's bat cave? Let us know in the comments below. Like this video so that your mom knows she can be a super cool action hero too, and come back next week for more. Dead.